Hey you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiana back again with another video. So you guys, today's video is going to be a cooking video. I'm going to show you guys my famous breakfast um, that I make for my clients. Everybody loves that breakfast. Like, um, everybody been raving over it. And so this video, is, I'm going to show you exactly how I make it. So right over here is all the stuff that I'll be cooking. Well, I won't be cooking these. I'll just be slicing those up. Um, I got my bacon my eggs and my rusted potatoes so first and foremost i'm about to clean these dishes up because you cannot cook in a dirty kitchen i know i can't i don't know about anybody else but i know i can't so i'm about to wash these dishes up real fast and then we're gonna start on our food So I'm about to peel some potatoes, probably like five. So I got five right here. And then I'm gonna slice them up. Got my potato peeling. I'm gonna use this bowl to put my potatoes in after. I normally have a bag to put the peelings in, but I ain't got one today, so I'm going to just do it right here on this countertop. And then we're going to slice these up, and then we're going to fry these, but we're going to season them first and stuff like that. Um, since I've been working here, my client has been teaching me how to throw down in the kitchen y'all so I've been learning a lot from her like being able to make different meals and stuff like that and the stuff be bomb um, she's from Texas so you know you could just imagine how the food be tasting right um, but I'm grateful. I'm so grateful that I have somebody like her to be able to teach me how to cook her food because um, I'm learning myself. And then I'm able to put together other meals for me and my son, you know. So, Because, like, I never thought about frying potatoes like how she wants me to do it. Putting the onion with it. And then... Um, you know having tomatoes for breakfast like i never thought about putting tomatoes on my plate for breakfast i um i also recently um did thanksgiving dinner for her and that was my first time ever doing a thanksgiving dinner i'm learning a lot And so I'm going to make enough for her and my other client and I'm going to make enough for myself as well because she allows me to eat here with them. And I didn't have breakfast this morning, so we're going to eat, okay? So let me finish fill, peeling the rest of these potatoes and I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I'm done peeling my potatoes and now you're going to want to wash them off to get all that, gr that grit and dirt off. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting a phone call. All right, you guys. So I have my potatoes right here. 
And where's my good knife? This is my good knife. This knife is just like, it cuts to perfection. So we're gonna slice these up just like this. You don't want them too thin and you don't want them too big either because you want them to all fry equally. So I cut them kind of like that, all of them like that. And we're going to fry these up just like this. After we season them. And make sure y'all careful with the knife. Because I almost cut myself. I almost cut my finger off Thanksgiving. Trying to be fast. They love their potatoes, so I'm making enough so they can have some, and then if they want more, they have it. There we go. Boom. And then we're going to put them back in our bowl right here. And we're going to get our seasonings. So we're going to put some black pepper. Some garlic powder. So to put a generous amount. I should have put the, um, this is onion powder, by the way. I should have put the stove on, the grease on, so it could be already hot, but it's already and then some seasoning salt. Okay. And then we're gonna get in some nice little sauce. Cause you want all of them coated, nicely coated. Okay. I lost the potato. Okay. So this is how they should look once you've seasoned them up and tossed them up. We're losing them. I ain't no chef, so don't judge me. <laughs> All right, so while our grease is heating up, we're going to cut up our tomato. Cut this up. Just slice it. Y'all, if y'all never had tomato with y'all breakfast, try it. It's so bomb. I put a little bit of seasoning salt on mine, but they just like theirs with pepper. But it's so good. So this is optional some people eat onions with their some people eat onions with their um their fries some people don't so in our case we do so i'm gonna cut some onion up and you want to put the onion in kind of towards the end because you don't want it to burn nobody wants to burn onion i know i don't so i'm just gonna cut this up hopefully my eyes don't cry today because I hate cutting up onion. It always makes my eyes burn. Somebody told me there's an actual way to cut onion and your eyes won't burn. I never found that out. Um, I never find out what it was, so I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing. All right. So we just gonna slice it. 
could be like they're kind of thinly sliced. And we like a lot of onion, so we're gonna cut up enough. Almost the whole thing. Alright. I felt it almost coming, my eyes. Let me get this off. Oh my food. Oh my eyes are starting to burn. Mm. Alright y'all, so my bacon is cooking and my potatoes is cooking. I would have showed y'all putting it in, but I had it in slow-mo by accident. So but you want to put all your potatoes in the grease and cook your bacon to the way you like it. Alright, so the bacon, some of the bacon is done. This is why I cut my bacon up because Sometimes it cooks too fast and then it'll get burnt in the middle and then the ends won't be done. So I'm gonna take this out and let the rest finish browning up.
So yeah, potatoes should look like this. Nice and brown and golden. And your onions should look like this as well. Nice and brown and golden. Not too brown. A little seasoning salt for some flavor. We don't have no no salt, so. make our plate. Yes, I'm using my hands. They're clean. All right, you guys, so this is the overview of the food. This is that breakfast for champs. This is what everybody's been raving over. It is really simple and easy. If you follow all the steps that I just showed you in this video, you can get these results as well. So yeah, we about to smash.